hello everyone welcome back to the channel if you are interested in building your own segmentation model then you are in a right place in this video i will be showing you how to train a yolo v9 model for segmentation task on your custom data set in previous yolo v9 video we had trained the model for object detection using the original github repository well this time we will be tackling segmentation using ultralytic because yolo v9 is now conveniently integrated with it so that's why we are going to utilize the alternatives for training the YOLO v9 model for our custom training okay so first we will cover how to perform inferences on images using the pre-trained YOLO v9 model and then we will jump into the fine-tuning YOLO v9 on our custom data sets right so without wasting any time let's get into it okay now we need data for segmentation and to get this data we will use kegel because kegel has a large database all the data set are available free of cost and so we can use it freely for our purposes in order to download the data sets we need couple of things and there are a couple of ways to download the data set you can directly download the data set from kegel and upload into your google collab but to tutorial i will directly download the data set from kegel to our google collab so first of all you need to have an kegel account and then we also need the kegel authentication key which will basically help us to download the data set from kegel to the google collab so how to get this token or authentication key so let's get into the google collab uh, once you log in uh, with your account so go to the account settings in account setting you will see this create new token just click on it and hit the continue button and you will see uh, there is one kegel.json file has been downloaded so now this file will basically become the bridge between the kegel and between the google collab and help us to download the data set so now we need to upload this kegel.json file into our google collab but before that uh, make sure you have connected with uh, the gpu just click on this drop down button and change the run type and click on this gpu and click the save so hit the reconnect button and it will connect with the gpu after connecting we just need to upload the file so let's upload it so as you can see file has been uploaded into our google collab so now we are good to go with the next procedures okay here are some table of content first of all we will download the data set after downloading we will install the ultra latex because we are going to use ultra latex to train the yolo v9 model so then we will load the pre-trained model and make the inferences and after that we will utilize pre-trained model and fine-tune it on our custom data sets then we will load this trained model and then make the inferences using the test images so these are the steps that we are going to perform so now let's download the data set so in order to download the data set from kegel we will first install the kegel package using pip at the beginning of the this command we will use explanation marks so this will tell the notebook that is run as a command line okay and hyphen q flag will basically make the installation process is quite q for quite okay let's install the kegel package after installing the kegel package we will have to make one kegel directory and uh, i name is dot kegel and use the explanation marks and make dir which will come stand for the make directory and run it after running the cell now we have to copy this kegel.json file into that directory that we have just created right there okay this basically save all the kegel related configurations and uh, will basically help us to download the data set okay after uh, copying this into the dot kegel folder then we will uh, get the permission so now we need to have the link of the data set from from the kegel so let's go into the kegel account again and just go back and when whenever you search for the furniture b box to segmentation or you can just simply type sa you will land it to this data set and once you open this data set you just need to go on the right top and you will see these three doors just click on it and copy the api command by uh, copying this and paste into the google collab cell and at the beginning just put the explanation mark and paste the link that we have just copied okay once we run this cell you will see data set has been starting downloading so our data set is downloaded once i refresh it let me make it little bit small so once i refresh it you will see this data set has been downloaded and but is in a zip file or in a compressed file we need to unzip so we can utilize it for our training in order to unzip we just use this explanation mark and call unzip and then pass the path of this uh, file just click on these three dots and you will 
copy the path and pass right there okay once i run this cell you will see our data has been extracted and i once i will refresh it you will see this data set okay let's clear the output this cell okay now our first step has been done now we will install the ultralytics library again we just use the pip command to install the ultralytics run the cell okay you can see our library ultralytics package has been installed now let's import the yolo object from this ultralytics and also import the matplotlib seaborn uh, and pandas data open cv to read the images and run the cell okay our two steps has been done now let's make the inferences using the pre-trained model so first of all let's initialize the yolo object and pass the name of the model that we want to use okay so in our case we want to use yolo, yolo v9c segmentation dot pt model and uh, save into the variable called model and now we just simply call model or predict and pass the image on which we want to make the prediction and one more parameter save is equal to true as because we want to save the result after making the prediction so simply now run the cell and as you can see model is uh, start to making the predictions and model has done with the predictions now you will see our result is saved inside the run folder and inside the run there is segmentation folder and there is a predict okay so once i refresh it you will see this run folder and inside segmentation prediction and you will see this image okay as you can see our model has 94 percent accurate to make the detection as well as the segmentation okay and this is the chair okay this is uh, now for the pretend model now let's move ahead and fine tune this yolo v9 model on our custom data set okay but before fine tuning let's make some configurations so first of all i created two variable first one is the data directory and that will basically store the path of our training testing and validation data sets and working directory will will save the path of the current directory where we are working okay and uh, let me show you the path and so if you go to the furniture directory uh, you will see the same predict training set and there are three folder train test and validation so make sure once you train yolo v9 model you will have also the same folder structure okay whatever data set you will use okay each folder will keep the two more folder first one for the images and the second folder will save the cross corresponding label of the image and say for training and testing and for the validation data set okay they make sure this folder structure you will have whenever you train the model on your custom data set okay so i copy this path and paste over there okay so this is our basically the data directory and next we will create two more variable first one is the number of classes and then second will be the classes number of classes will keep the count of the classes that how many classes are present so in our case we only have two classes the second variable will basically keep the name of the classes there are two classes chair and sofa so whenever you try this code and train your model so keep this thing in mind you will have to change these two variable number of classes and the name of the classes so you can put according to your data set okay run this both cell and now we will have to make one yaml file will basically uh, keep all the path of our test train and validation and also keep the name of the classes and number of classes because uh, whenever we train the yolo v9 model or yolo family models so it will uh, take the path in the form of yaml file okay in order to make the yaml file we will make one uh, dictionary and and this uh, train basically keep the path of the train images and uh, well this basically keep the path of the validation images and the test will keep the path of uh, test images okay so as you can see we have this uh, data directory and uh, inside this directory we have a train test and well that's why i'm putting this in the quotation okay and next we will simply make one data.yml file and in open it in a write mode and dump all this dictionary content into this data.yml file and i am creating this yml file in our working directory okay so let's run it you will see uh, this uh, yml file has been created okay 
if i open it you will see the path of the training testing and validation and name of the classes and the number of classes and c will represent the num number of the classes okay okay now our configuration has been set for the training on custom data so now let's again call the yolo object and pass the name of the model that we want to fine tune so in our case we want to fine tune the yolo b9 segmentation model and then save this into the model variable and then we simply call the model dot train and pass the parameter data epochs and image size so in data we will simply pass the path of the yaml file that we have just created just copy the path after copying the path paste in quotation right there then number of epochs i just making the video length short uh, that's why i just simply train the model for 30 epochs but by the time of you train your model you have to train the model for more epochs according to the complexity of the project and complexity of your data set okay and try to run for the 100 and 200 epochs okay so and then the third parameter is uh, image size and image size we are using 640 okay now let's run this cell you will see the model training has been started and i will get back once the training is completed okay okay guys as you can see our training has been completed and the mo trained model has been saved under the train folder okay so now let's load the model that we have just got after the training on the custom data set so now let's uh, go to the directory so we have this seg under the segmentation folder so go to the run and inside the run and there will be the segmentation inside the segment there is a train and inside train there we will have the weights directory and inside the weight directory we will copy the path of the best dot pt because this is the model that we have just trained okay so just copy the path of uh, this best dot pt file and uh, load so in order to load first i have make uh, the separate path and then call the yolo object and pass the path okay so once i run this cell you will see model has been loaded now it's time to test our custom model on the test images okay so first of all get the path of the test images and then i just get the path of the each images and then i have selected the images after equal intervals and then set the plot size and then i have load the each image and then send this image to the model for prediction as you can see our model has been saved in the best model and we call this best model dot predict and in source we have passed the image and image size 640 okay the result make the models will be stored in the result variable and then we will display the image so for that we will be using the matplotlib okay so now let's run this cell and let me hide it okay now run the cell and it will take some time and make the prediction so now as you can see our model has make the predictions so this is the chair and it's very accurately detect as well as the segmented and this is the sofa and there are a couple of bonding boxes because i just trained the model for 30 epochs by the time you will run you have to train the model for it more epochs okay the purpose of this video is simply go you through the all the process so we train the yolo v segmentation model on our custom data set okay so as you can say there are a couple of wrong predictions but this is the chair and uh, this also model predict as a prediction because we have just trained the model for 30 epochs okay so that's it guys for today's video and if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next video